Hello. Welcome. My name is Emma. I'm literally probably not even going to post this. I just want to like process what's been on my head like consistently within the last, ugh, I don't know, week or so or two weeks. I've just been opened up to the entire world of like polarity with feminine and masculine energy and I knew about it like previously from just like ah I don't know like YouTube and and TikTok and everything but I never actually looked into it or understood it I kind of thought like the whole like feminine energy thing was wearing dresses um doing your makeup I don't know, just like very like physical and surface level and masculine was like, I don't know, building a fucking house or like something like that. It's just like, I never went any deeper and what it truly means to be like in your masculine or in your feminine energy. And I came to this, this kind of realization that I was like, I felt stuck in... I felt like stuck in my masculine energy and in the sense of I was always instigating everything in my life and I th I thought I was being like independent like girl boss you know like I don't need anybody uh, I'm fine by myself but deep down I hated to admit that I want to be I wanted to be taken care of too and I don't always like instigating things. I don't always like being independent or having to rely on myself. So I got to this really confusing kind of brain block where I was like, okay, I want to be, I don't want to be codependent, but I don't want to be like, I'm the only person in the world and I don't need anybody else so I started my research to do like okay where the fuck is the balance in between this and that's when I really dove into what it means to be in your feminine and why it feels natural whereas when you're in your masculine um, it doesn't feel as authentic and in alignment with who I am so something that I, f I found, I think her name's All, All Lexis on YouTube. And I just like, I kid you not, I've been like binging her videos so hard. So it's been bad. Like literally I wake up and I watch one of her videos and I'm just like, oh my God, I, I resonate with this girl so damn much. And I'm just like writing notes and everything. And I want to share some of the things I've learned. Mostly just so I can get it out of my head and into actual physical words so I can comprehend all of the things. Oh, it's beautiful. All the things that I've been learning. So, right off the top of my head is self-care and inner work. And how, um, I, I at the beginning, I was mentioning how I thought originally feminine energy was the whole physical aspect. And... It's definitely a part of it, but it goes deeper than that. So, for example, when it comes to self-care, you should, like, give love to yourself in the form of your love language. So, the five love languages, I believe, physical touch, words of affirmation, quality time, um, acts of service, and gift giving. There's a quiz. You can literally take it online. I've taken it, and I believe that my top... I was like pretty darn close with um, words of affirmation and then I think it was physical touch. Yeah, those are my top two. So I was like, okay, I crave this like validation from other people, but I want to learn how to give it to myself. But I was like, dude, how do I give validation to myself? That's literally like, I feel like so societally speaking, we've been so trained to like want that and crave that from other people. It's literally a human thing. So I was like, 
how, how, how the hell do I do that to myself? So I made a list. I was like, okay, Emma, write down everything that makes you feel good when other people say something to you. And what I did, I had my little list and I, I was in my room and I literally set, I had my mirror in front of me and I repeated what I wanted to hear from other people, but in the form, not in like I am, but in the form of you are. So it was almost like I was talking to a person that isn't myself. And it was the weirdest, it, like I've done affirmations before, but I've always done it like in the I am. But like saying you are, I literally felt like, like separate from my body and that somebody else was speaking to me. It was the wackest shit. But because we're so trained with the whole like receiving like compliments or like, oh, like you're so beautiful or I'm so proud of you or you're doing such a great job or like I feel so, so you know, like compliments. Since we're so used to like doing that, it's not like people are saying to you, oh, like, like they don't say like, I am something they're they're saying like you are like you are that's the key word you are you're used to hearing that you're not used to like telling yourself in the mirror i am beautiful you're used to hearing you are beautiful so by doing that i think that's like my um that's what i was thinking why it felt like more it felt more like somebody else was saying it to me instead of myself and therefore i felt more validated does that make sense? I mean, like, I I think it's a starting point. And I by no means, like, think of myself as someone who craves validation from other people. I've always, like, felt pretty darn comfortable in, like, myself when it comes to self-worth. However, after doing, like, some inner work, I've realized that there are, like, consciously I can think yeah, of course, like, I'm worthy of being treated correctly. I deserve consistent communication and, and love. Like, I I can consciously, like, be like, yeah, like, I think that I deserve that. Like, I'm a good person, and I give that to other people, so I feel like I should receive it back. Um, but when I was, like, journaling about, I think I, I think the prompt was something like, what am I afraid of other people found, finding out about me? It was like, I had this deep, deep fear that people would see me as weak if I were to show the struggles that I've gone through and that they would somehow, like after learning uh, who I am as a person, once they learn the parts of me that I don't fully accept or love about myself, yet that they would start seeing me differently and someone who's weaker or not as strong or not as resilient or I don't know just like lesser than so I've really pushed those things down and have tried to put out the best version of myself but not always when I felt to do so because I'm a strong believer in fake it till you make it so then I hit another road. I was like, okay, dude, where's the balance with that? Like, where's the balance between being authentic to how you feel, like genuinely, and then like faking it till you make it so that you can get out of this fucking rut you're in? It's like, because I know in the brain, you know, it's kind of like easy to trick the brain. Like if you're not feeling too good, like you can literally like just start smiling and doing a happy activity like i don't know going oh fucking paint something i don't i don't care but your brain is like oh she's doing something happy right now so therefore i'm happy it's like you can trick your brain but there's just like this point where i'm like dude should i feel should i act happy so i can actually become happy or should i like acknowledge these feelings that like you know actually i'm feeling pretty darn crappy right now and Oh, this isn't really like an episode where I'm talking about solutions. I'm honestly just processing my own 
shit right now and <laughs> verbalizing online. Yeah. But looking at little, if I were to like make little bullet points in my brain right now, it's really finding the balance between the part of myself that wants to so desperately be independent and the part of myself that wants to have connection with people and like that sort of interdependence relationships where you are both good within yourselves but you also acknowledge that like relationships are an important part of life that was the first sort of topic the second was balancing or that kind of tied in with feminine and masculine energy too okay that kind of yeah that's kind of like the second point which was like being in your feminine and learning how to do that when it comes to like going deeper within that um being inner work and right now currently like within the last couple weeks and I'm sure for a while more like journaling and really figuring out not only how you feel about yourself consciously because I, we all kind of know that like if you if you're self-aware like at all if you can like recognize that you have feelings and thoughts and you're humans you're you can think of how you consciously have beliefs about yourself but subconsciously that's a different story because like I said I can consciously know that I'm worthy but subconsciously I have got these blocks where I'm like oh fuck like am I it's like where's like it wants evidence almost it's 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 very interesting and those subconscious beliefs can come from places that it could literally come from like one moment in your life where your brain registered it as oh you're not worthy enough or you're not good enough for this particular thing like this particular amount of money or being in love or uh being happy like it it doesn't really matter i feel where it came from and it's not your fault that you're there however it is your responsibility to heal and identify what that belief is so that you can change it and I don't remember the thing that I literally just talked about two minutes ago, but I know that, oh, damn, what was it? Like I said, this is just kind of like a brain dump of things that have been going on in my head. But yeah, and if you don't take anything from this solutions wise, just take that. Everyone's figuring their own stuff out. And I know that for me, it's really easy to like look at like for the YouTubers that are like about self-growth and development, it's super easy to be like, wow, you haven't figured out. You figured all this fucking shit out and it's like you've reached the top and I'm here and I'm trying to get to that level. But you have to realize that the people that you are like watching on YouTube or TikTok or whatever that you like aspire to be, they're learning too. It's not like they have everything figured out. N nobody has ever had anything figured out fully because we're all learning, we're all growing, we're all humans. We're all gonna die one day. So therefore it's like, no, <laughs> like you have the opportunity to keep growing. So thanks for listening <laughs> about my little brain dump and I'll see you soon. Bye.